Here is why your morning blood sugar remains high. Number one, late night snacks. Everyone loves a snack. I have especially late night snack, right? But if you're worried about the effects it might have on your morning blood sugar levels, you're not alone. It is true that eating even just a small late night snack can cause your blood sugar to spike in the morning. That is because when we eat late at night, especially high-carb snacks like crackers and candy, our bodies cannot burn off all of the energy from those foods by the time you wake up, right? This leads to extra glucose staying in our system overnight and makes your morning readings higher than usual. If this is happening to you, Try avoiding those late night snacks and see if it helps your morning readings. Number two, lack of exercise. So if you are waking up every morning to a high blood sugar, then it might be due to the fact that you are not getting enough exercise. Not working out regularly can cause your blood sugar levels to really go up and that means it's time for a wake up call, right? Exercise doesn't have to feel like a chore either. Try finding activities that are enjoyable for you as it will be just another way to stay healthy, keep your blood sugars down. So for example, take walks in nature or start cycling. There are also plenty of fun video workouts on YouTube, including mine. If you are stuck at home with limited resources, just type sugar MD and workout or exercise, you will find them. Find what works best for you and make sure that it gets scheduled in your daily routine. And number three, not having breakfast. It is important to remember that. When it comes to even thinking about what kind of meal you have in the morning, making sure that there is protein and fat in your protein is super important. Not having enough can mean waking up with a sky high blood sugar levels and that's not fun at all, right? So avoid this totally unpleasant situation and make sure to balance your meals. Plus, having the perfect mornings full of energy means a productive day, right? So get started now and double check your breakfast foods for that perfect protein to fat ratio. You'll be feeling great in no time. So hit the ground running and get ready for success, guys. Number four, let's talk about coffee. Now, research shows that if you are already pre-diabetic or have diabetes, drinking too much coffee can do a number on your morning blood sugar levels. So for those of us who rely on that warm, energizing cup of joe to get our day started, take heed when it comes to how much you're consuming. Moderation is key, right? Grab an extra glass of water instead of the coffee and let the natural power of hydration work its magic in getting your body ready for the day. Well, number five, having low blood sugar before 3 a.m. and not knowing it. If you have already started to manage your diabetes, one of the most important things you need to watch out for is having low blood sugar levels before 3 a.m. in the morning. It happens a lot. If this happens and goes unnoticed, it can drastically raise your morning blood sugar levels, causing a phenomenon called Smoji effect. It is important to monitor your nighttime glucose levels, especially between midnight and dawn. A quick check at nighttime could potentially help lower your morning blood sugar readings, ensuring that you have much smoother start to your day. Now, when in doubt, get up every few hours and test yourself. It is always better to be safe than sorry. And number six, not having enough insulin when on insulin, right? So for many people, insulin is an essential medication for managing their blood sugar levels because they are insulin dependent at some point. However, if you are already taking insulin and your blood sugars are still too high, it could be because you are just not taking enough of that long-acting insulin. This type of insulin regulates how much glucose the liver can make, so by taking more of it, 
you could actually potentially prevent your liver from producing too much glucose at night when you're sleeping and keep your blood sugars in check. But of course, everybody's needs are different when it comes to managing diabetes, how much insulin they need, etc. So you need to make sure you talk to your endocrinologist before making those adjustments. Unless you're extremely careful and you know what you're doing uh, based on previous experience. Number seven, eating late and having heavy dinners. Now, late and heavy dinners have been linked to higher blood sugar levels in the morning. This is because when we eat late, our bodies do not have enough time to break down the food before we go to bed. So when we then wake up, the food is still in our system. You're probably feeling your burp. Ugh, disgusting, right? And causes elevated blood sugar levels. Unfortunately, there are ways to decrease these high morning blood sugar levels, such as eating earlier during the day or avoiding large portions at night. Number eight, not getting a good night's sleep can seriously mess with your body and has some damaging side effects you may not even know about. When we don't get adequate rest, our bodies produce increased amounts of stress hormones, which can throw off our chemical balance. And that puts us at risk for insulin resistance when our bodies have trouble processing the sugar. That means higher blood sugar levels in the morning, which just adds to that groggy and exhausted feeling you experience after a bad night's sleep. So if you have trouble sleeping, it is important to find ways to get more sleep, a restorative sleep, okay? Like winding down before bedtime and avoiding caffeine close to bedtime will really help. Then you will wake up refreshed and ready for the day. Now, let us know what is causing your high blood sugar levels in the morning. Remember to subscribe and share on this video and have a happy and healthy day. See you next time.